hey guys welcome back again to another new video so in today's video i would like to talk about depression in germany before we continue if you're new here my name is Lina tamimo i do cooking vlogs lifestyle and travel vlogs so if this is your first time on this channel can you take a minute and subscribe and then you can continue with the point of our video depression in germany i'm gonna give you some six points you can also add more in the comment section i'm gonna give you six points how depression starts here in germany point number one getting your visa or your stay here in germany once you come here as au pair like i came as au pair and then i added a, i applied i look for volunteer work i was given the visa now the problem was from this volunteer work to our house building because i applied for house building and the government denied me visa not even the government but uh also they heard they denied me visa so these are the things like the it's like embassy here in germany but you just call it house and they heard they denied me visa because they say they have added for me a lot of visa and that is just a lie because long time ago they did not want many africans or many auslander here in germany so they look for any reason to send back someone back home and uh, they added me visa for fsj only one and a half years and then they said they have given me so many visas i should go back to my country and that's how depression starts here in germany in such cases whereby someone has denied you visa it means you will have to get married to someone and probably someone that you don't like or someone that is older or someone like or even get pregnant and then you have to disappear and come back after some months so that you can be given your stay so that is like depression for me you, that is the beginning of depression because if they could have given someone the visa when someone applies for house building to study they, someone will not go and get married to an older person or someone they don't like so that is the reason why i say this is the the beginning of depression in germany when you're looking for your papers so when you come to this country always make sure you start applying things at least six months before time. When you when you are finished with FSJ, before even you finish, just start applying for house building. Make sure it's six months before your visa gets finished. Then you can start applying for house building. If they deny you, at least you have someone that you love that and you can't marry that person. Point number two that gives people depression here in Germany is getting a good job whereby you'll be comfortable, no stress from anyone. Like I tell you guys, in this Germany, you can exchange jobless if you are exchanging clothes, you know. You go to this company, you find maybe the work is so good, but the workers are so bad, especially the, it comes from nursing. Like nurses are so bad. They're so, like they like to mob people. Like they like to bully people. A lot of places where you go, you have these nurses, especially not from Germany, but from other parts of Europe. When they come here, they think like they're the bosses and they'll, they'll be like mobbing someone and someone doesn't even have peace of mind when at work. You'll be like asking yourself, where, do, where can I go and work where I'll be having my peace of mind? I love, and then the other first point is that the, the language barrier. Sometimes you want to say something and probably you cannot even speak German so well. So you end up keeping quiet and end up into depression. So such thing. Point number three, getting married here in Germany. This is another beginning of depression. So let's say, for example, they denied you a visa. So what is the next step? The next step is to get married to an old person, maybe the person that you don't love. And maybe that person only wants to have a good Steuer number, like a, a good tax number. Because in Germany, once you're married, you can have three, five, tax number three, or then the other one can have tax number five. The one who's earning less can have tax number five. Or if you people are earning good money, almost close to each other, you can go for four and the other one four. So, but you, when you have a very bad person who is only interested in the tax, they can take five, uh, three, and then they can live with five. But maybe, for example, you're even earning good money more than them. So you end up, your money will be deducted almost everything, and you end up like, you, you still tell you you have to share bills 50 50. So that means you'll be having nothing. In the house, you don't have peace of mind. At work, you don't have peace of mind. So, our fourth point is also getting a kid. You have been denied visa. You cannot get married to anyone else then you end up getting a kid so that you can have your papers and this is another thing that many makes many people to have depression because sometimes you may get pregnant with someone and then someone says no that kid is not mine 
So you have to prove to the government that this child belongs to this man. For example, you do not have any any address for this man. You don't have even his that date of birth. You don't know anything except the name that he gave you on the internet. So this are this is why many people have depression and they end up they end up being deported even with their own kids. So uh, and then some of them they also have kids. They end up the kids end up uh, like uh, beating their own moms or they report their own moms to the to the police. Like we have one Ghanaian woman who uh, her child was gay and the woman was not happy with that and the child ended up stabbing the mother to death. So we have such cases which, are, which, which can lead people to depression also. This is something that is very, very common in Germany. This is our new point, like uh, beginning to work after the maternity leave. Maybe, uh, you know, in Germany, maternity leave is three years. But mostly, if you're a single mother, you get 14 months. So as soon as the child is 14 months, you need to go back to work. So you be, you be paid for 14 months with the, with the Elton Gelstellen. Like with the government, we pay you for 14 months. But then after that 14 months, you have to go back to your work and start working. And then uh, the problem is, begins whereby you not even have kindergarten for your child. And then remember, this child is also still small. It doesn't even know how to talk. And you have to take that child in the kindergarten. And still, you don't have even money for uh, au pair. You cannot even tell someone to come and babysit your child for you because it is very, very expensive. And mostly when you don't have, you don't have a, a kindergarten class, you must go to job center, whereby you'll be depending the, on the government and they're so controlling. It's leading to the... For our sixth point, like I said before, getting kindergarten. Getting kindergarten here in Germany is, I don't know, it's like looking for something which is not even easy to find. You know, in Africa, when you take your child to a daycare, it's just sharp. You just get a daycare within a minute. But here, you have to apply. After applying, you have to wait. And you can even wait for two to three years. Like for me, I applied for my son when we moved in this uh, new house where we are right now. We have stayed here for two years. Then they just wrote us a letter right now that they have gotten something for my son. My son is almost going to five years next year. So what are they writing me right now for? It doesn't even make sense. So for anybody that is looking for kindergarten here in Germany, once you realize you're pregnant, you have motor pass. You know motor pass what it is. When you have that motor pass, start applying for kinder, uh, kindergarten. Start applying for kindergarten, start applying for uh, kinder arts. And the last point is loneliness. So here in Germany, people are very lonely. So when you find someone drinking alcohol somewhere with friends, just understand them. Don't be like, this person likes to drink alcohol too much. I don't like this person is always on alcohol. It's because in Germany, life is so lonely. When you see someone drinking at home, some beer or, or gin or anything, understand those people. Here in life, it's, here in Germany, life is very, very boring. So loneliness can also lead someone into depression. But if you have friends, if you have a partner, communicate with your partner. Like for me, I came to understand I have my husband, I have my son. Those are the two most people who are very, very important for me here in Germany. Without them, I don't even know how my life would be. You may have some ups and downs, but I came to realize they mean a lot to me. So if you have someone, don't be like always angry with that person. Try and communicate with the person to avoid all this loneliness and depression. So guys, those were all the points that I needed to tell you. If you have something important also to share in the comment section, kindly also share. And also remember to like this video so that it can be recommended to someone else. So that it can help someone who has so high expectations wherever they are about Germany. And thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and to share. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.